Welcome back to the Morning, Noon, and Night Show. I'm now thrilled to be joined with the artist George Rodriguez, who is synonymous with his work with the Blue Dog that you see right. all across town, but you've got a gallery right across the street from um, Gallery Maximilian. That's right. Uh, yeah. And you can see the Blue Dog staring <laughs> out at you. Thank you so much for joining us Thank here. Thank you for having me. Yeah. We'll talk a little bit about kind of the history of the Blue Dog and how you became synonymous with that work. Well, I'm a Cajun from Louisiana, mm -hmm. and when I grew up in Louisiana, my mother told me this story about uh, if you're not good today, the Loop Garou will come and get you tonight, like the Boogeyman. And uh, I started painting this Loop Garou, and I had a show in Los Angeles, and they started calling it the Blue Dog. So I dropped all the Louisiana backgrounds and made it like on the moon and on space and anywhere I wanted to put it and it became the Blue Dog 20 years ago. And when did you first open the gallery uh, in Aspen? Three years ago, right mm -hmm. after Katrina. Mm -hmm. We had to. And you've done an enormous amount of work for the victims of Katrina and for your home state. Yeah, we had a relief print um, campaign and we raised a million and a half dollars in the f two years right after Katrina and gave it to the people that really needed the money. You know? You've got the gallery here in Aspen, but then you've yeah. got galleries all across the world. Well, we have gallery in Carmel, New Orleans, and Tokyo, mm -hmm. and that's enough. Keep yeah. me busy because I have to paint all the pictures. <laughs> now you've not only focused on the Blue Dog, but then you also uh, have these great character uh, drawings that you can see uh, on the cover of this Louisiana Cultural Vistas. But it's it's almost it's a, a, a flat imagery where it almost ghost like. Yeah, this was uh, uh, the Cajun people I painted for 25 years, and that's how I got the the uh, folklore out of the Cajun country, and that's how the Loop Garou started. So most people don't realize that for 25 years I painted Louisiana folklore, and famous people, that was Huey Long, and I've painted a lot of presidents, and uh, you know, that's, that's my background. And do you draw on historical photographs or photographs that you take? What, what, what's your, well, uh, yeah, what do the, you work off of? Uh, historical photographs for the presidents, uh, and uh, if I can photograph them, I prefer to photograph them. I actually went to Reagan's ranch and photographed Reagan on his horse and painted that, and that was fun. I love the story of the inspiration for the blue dog in terms of your old studio dog. Yeah, well, I had to come up with this Loop Garou, and what it was is a werewolf, crazy werewolf dog with red eyes. So I had a studio dog named Tiffany, and I uh, used her as a model, roughly bluish gray green model and uh, it became bluer and bluer and bluer and then one day it became became the blue dog and that's that's what i'm doing now and you shifted and, the eye color what, what was the catalyst well, for you deciding yeah the eye color was really red you know but it was it was really mean looking too too ugly mean looking and i changed the actual eyes of the dog and made it more of an iconic looking thing and uh, uh changed it to yellow and friendly and happier and uh it just comments on life today. That's what it's about today. It's whatever the blue dog problem is, it's our problem. Mm -hmm. And whatever our problems are, the blue dog has the same problems. And it's a mixed medium of work. So you, you not only use paint, but you use different methods. Talk a little bit about your methodology well, on the canvas. Yeah, I, I do actually paintings with acrylic. I do silk screens, and some I do silk screens and paintings, mixed medias. And uh, I do some sculpture with uh, done 12 foot high blue dogs and chrome and steel and painted chrome and steel and uh, and you know I I do all kind of things that you know when I get up in the morning I figure out what I want to do. <laughs> so yeah, I was gonna say, do, does a painting pick you or do you pick a painting when you go? No, the painting, you know, you get to the studio and I have no preconceived idea of what I'm gonna do that morning. And I just start start working because it has to stay fresh. The fresher it is, to you, the, the more exciting it is. You know, I don't, I don't want to feel like I'm going to work. You know, I want to feel like I'm still, still in high school. <laughs> <laughs> don't we all, George Agri? Thank, thank you, you so much for coming, artist extraordinaire. We're going to take a break here from the Aspen Meadows Resort and head on over to the Aspen Farmers Market with David Bach. David, take it away.